truth about the phony soldier Rush Limbaugh was talking about. Pete Hegseth is the executive director of Vets for Freedom. Um, Pete, it wasn't just this one soldier, it was a group of soldiers. The DOJ, the Department of Justice, has set up a task force to catch these guys who are masquerading as soldiers. But this one in particular that Limbaugh was talking about, they called a phony soldier, I think this guy has uh, committed treason. Explain to the American people who this guy is, what he did. Well, uh, Jesse Macbeth uh, claimed to be an army ranger. He claimed to have served in Af Afghanistan. He claimed to have served in Iraq. He actually claimed to have served for up to 16 months in Iraq and to have been wounded there. Uh, he also claimed that his unit and, bo and himself committed atrocities against the Iraqi people, that they slaughtered uh, over 200 people, killed innocent children during interrogations, and basically was a, was a darling of the anti-war left for okay. a long time until he was exposed. This is a guy who, was, who said um, that he went into mosques with his group, went into mosques while children were playing, killed them, burned them, and hung them from the rafters. Hung them from the rafters to respond. Was, to... was never even there, and they, it, all of this stuff was translated into Arabic. Yes. Here is my question for you, Pete. Why did this guy only get five months in jail? Why, is he, why has he not been tried for treason? Well, it's, it's, it's a good question in many ways, because what he says and what's translated into Arabic gets beamed throughout the entire Arab world. If you, if you go to Iraq, any Iraq and Afghanistan veteran can tell you that every mud hut has a satellite dish on top of it. The Iraqi people follow what we're saying, especially what soldiers say. So, I mean, he certainly crossed the line. I just, uh, you know, he claimed to have had post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, he clearly has other mental issues. Yeah. Here's a post-traumatic stress. He, he flunked out of boot camp he for the He flunked out of boot camp after 40 days. <laughs> I mean, geez, that's post -traumatic. Traumatic to this guy. Um, you've got Mirtha saying that the Marines killed uh, a bunch of people. Um, what the claim that he made was false. Mm -hmm. um, you've got MoveOn.org doing the Betrayus thing. Uh, you have this guy. You have mm -hmm. Cindy Sheehan, who is clearly, I mean, she's in bed with Chavez. Um, none of these people um, uh, disavow anything. When, when Cindy Sheehan was no. revealed as being, you know, out with, uh, with uh, Hugo Chavez, this guy is, uh, is, is, is put into court and shown complete, complete fraud. Um, nobody seems to disavow. You know, that's the unfortunate part. Is you, you've got a guy like Jesse Macbeth saying things and, that are clearly outside the lines, but the problem is that his voice is being amplified by people that believe his message reinforces their own message. And they want to hear from a soldier that, that is talking about the bad things the American military has done, and they, they try to amplify it as far as possible. So as much as we want to indict okay. Jesse Macbeth, it's unfortunate, but what the anti-war left does with his rhetoric is the even more, uh, greater crime. Pete, thanks a lot. So Thank where you. am I? Where am I wrong? I think the Democrats Democratic Party has been hijacked by smear groups and radical socialists like George Soros. They don't care about the truth anymore. You agree or disagree.